Welcome back to Oklahoma's favorite academic game show, I Want Answers. I'm your host, Jeff Gaffin. Today's teams begin their second round of competitions. The Tulsa Central Braves have come back to compete against our local Claremore Zebras. The stakes are getting higher, as the winner of this game will get to advance and compete in the semifinal round. We have met the students before, but now we get to like to know them a little bit better. We start with the Tulsa Central Braves. First off, we have Jacob Vance, who is a team captain and a senior. Says you enjoy video games, music, and eating. Plans to study music and engineering in college, and you have an affinity for learning languages. What languages do you like to learn? Uh, I will learn any language. Um, uh, I currently speak English, Spanish, Russian, a little bit of French, and German. Well, we're happy for the English part. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you pick up on languages really quickly? Yes. Oh, very interesting. I can't learn any language like that. All right, good. Thanks for coming here. We have Aubrey Herring, who's also a senior, likes listening to music, crafting, and plans to major in engineering in college. Anything else you'd like to tell us about yourself? Um, not particularly. Not particularly. Okay. Well, we're glad you're here as well. Next up, we have Brendan Horn, who's a sophomore, into music and dance, plans to major in dance in college, and minor in business, just in case. And that's important because the fine arts is a very variable field. Yes. And it says you can play 12 different instruments. Name a few. Um, piano, saxophone, bass, guitar, trumpet, baritone, a little bit of flute, cello, viola, violin, etc. Wow. And I only can sing. Okay. And I sing also. Oh, and you <laughs> sing all. There you go. Okay. I'm not much of a dancer, though. Glad you're here. And lastly, we have Shelby Sepulveda, who is a junior, enjoys drawing, singing, and cooking. Do you do it all at the same time? Um, sometimes. 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 It's good to sing while you cook. I like to draw with my food. You like to draw with your food. Yes, Better than great. playing with your food. That's yes. true. Uh, her goal is to make a living doing any or all those things and has already sold some of your artwork. So you're, you, it says you're a skilled spray painter and surfer. Yes. Where do you get the surf in Oklahoma? Um, you don't, but I'm going to try and invest in parasurfing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like on the lakes and stuff? Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Um, I used to surf back when I was in California. Very nice. It is good the relaxation. California girl, huh? Yes. All right. Well, that's the Tulsa Central Braves. Glad you're all here. And now we get a chance to meet the Claremore Zebras. First off, we have Andrew Noland, who is a junior, plays tennis, likes to read, loves studying history and literature, and plans to go to college earning a PhD in some form of history. What specifically would you be more interested in? Um, military history or European history? That would be interesting. I Very really nice. enjoy that. Okay, and I hear that there's nicknames on the back of y'all's t-shirts. So what is your nickname? Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. From Pokemon. Well, yes. there you go. Okay, thanks for being here. Thank you. Second, we have Zane King, who is a junior, enjoys math and science, and is a life rank in the Boy Scouts of America and plans to become a chemical engineer. Explain to me the life rank. I don't understand. I understand like Eagle Scout and things like that. It's just one rank below Eagle. Okay, so you'll be going for, you're working towards Eagle Scout? Yes. Awesome. Well, good. Congratulations on that. And thanks for being here. Okay. Next up, we have Ty Webster, who is a junior, is an employee at Quick Trip, and is a very hard worker. Loves to read and play games and plans to earn a doctorate and become a cardiothoracic surgeon. Well, there's the big money, more than I'm making here, so. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they have you listed in the wrong order. Okay, well, hi, Ty. So, quick trip, and that's going to lead to cardiothoracic surgery. Yeah, there's a gateway to it. There's a gateway? <laughs> okay. So, uh, which quick trip do you work at? I work at one in Tulsa. Okay. person Sheridan. Do they move you around a lot? No. I, I give a set I don't store. Do that. Okay, that's cool. You guys are very, like, friendly. Yeah, on the counter. They train you guys really well. We try to do that. That's good. We appreciate that. Thank okay, you. quick trip rocks. <laughs> Lastly, we have Truman Burridge, who is a junior, plays basketball and ping pong, hopefully not at the same time. That'd be interesting, though. <laughs> not that good. Likes math and plans on attending college after high school, has a brother, Carter, and you're both named after presidents. Well, that makes sense. Yes, is Harry Truman your favorite president? Of course. Of course. Well, that would make sense. Anything else you'd like to add? What's your nickname? I'm Rigby. Rigby. The regular show. From the regular show. What's your nickname? Professor Oak. Professor Oak from? Pokemon. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know Pokemon. <laughs> and what's your nickname? I'm Dexter. Dexter from Dexter. He's laboratory. Laboratory. <laughs> laboratory. Yes. Cartoon <laughs> Network. Thanks, y'all, Claremore. We're glad you're here. Well, now that we've gotten to know our players a little bit better, it's time to begin our competition. As always, we start with the speed round. Remember, teams, these are individual answer questions worth 10 points each. There is no conferring in this round. Here's the first of our speed questions. Are you ready to play? Are you ready to play? Do you want questions? Good, because I want answers. In the great move westward, what was the name of the famous route that began in Independence, Missouri and terminated in the... 
Yes, Claremore. The Oregon Trail? That is correct. The thousands of objects between Mars and Jupiter are often called minor planets. Yes, Claremore. The asteroid belt? That is correct. Grass is one of the largest and most varied families in the plant kingdom. The smaller grasses are called turf grasses. What's the largest grass class? Yes, Claremore. Bamboo. That is correct. Math question. Find the quotient of the quantity C squared plus 13C plus 42, all divided by the quantity C plus 6. Yes, Claremore. C plus 7. That is correct. A study of 138,000 women showed that eating these nuts may reduce the risk for type 2 diabetes by as much as 24%. Which superfood nut am I talking about? Yes, Claremore. Almond. Incorrect. Central. Yes, you don't have to hit the buzzer again. Pistachios. That is incorrect. It is walnuts. Walnuts. Next speed question. France's Communist Party has dropped what traditional communist symbols on its membership cards in favor of a five-pointed star? Yes, central. Hammer and sickle. That is correct. He talked business recently when he encouraged his fans and their parents to have a family talk about money, saying, if you spend more than you have, you're going to be broke. Name this teen idol. Yes, Claremore. Justin Bieber. That is correct. The Biebs himself. <laughs> Western states face the conundrum of how to deal with a leader indicted by the International Criminal Court for Crimes Against Humanity. I'm talking about Ohuru Kenyatta, recently sworn in as president in what country? Yes, Claremore. Nigeria. That is incorrect. Central. Yes. Kenya. That is correct. Okay, next question. She traveled over 1,200 miles in order to view the magnifi ma magnificence of Solomon's kingdom. At the end of her visit, she exclaimed that, of what her eyes saw, she had not heard the half of it. Can you name her? Yes, Central. Queen of Sheba. That is correct. The Sphinx posed it. Oedipus solved it. State the famous riddle. Yes, Claremore. No answer. Okay, Central, you get your chance. Um, what walks on two legs in the morning? Uh, oh, damn. Never, never. Okay, what animal goes on four legs in the morning, two at noon, and three in, in the evening? All right, still moving on. Derma means skin or covering. Give me the appropriate derm term for an elephant. Yes, Central. Derm. That is correct. What name is given to an employment contract in which the workers agree not to join a union? Yes, Claremore. A yellow contract? Not quite. Central? No answer. Yellow dog contracts. Sorry, not enough. Celebrating its 10th birthday is what online store that changed how people consume music? Yes, Claremore. Rhapsody. Incorrect. Central. iTunes. That is correct. What country, whose land was settled by the Sphere people in the 6th century BC, defeated the Habsburgs in the Thirty Years' War and lost to Peter the Great in the Great Northern War? Yes, Claremore. The Swedish? That is correct. The country, though, Sweden. Mm -hmm. This word for an old laundering instrument has been used to refer to a road with a bumpy bridge. Yes, central. Washboard. That is correct. By elevating the scriptures above church authority, he anticipated the Reformation by 150 years. He supported a bill in Parliament declaring it sinful for clergy to hold property. He also translated the Latin Vulgate Bible directly into English vernacular. Can you name this harbinger of... Yes, central. King James. Incorrect. Harbinger of the Reformation. Claremore? Yes. Luther? Incorrect. John Wycliffe. A strike initiated by a group of workers. Oh, and that's the end of the first round. Score stands at this point with Central at 60 points, and Claremore also with 60 points. Tie game so far. Very nice. Now we head into the advantage round. Remember, teams, to gain the advantage, you must be the first to correctly answer a speed question. Any team member may answer. 
Once a team correctly answers a speed question, they are given three advantage questions worth five points each. Remember teams, while you are, are allowed to confer, answers for the advantage questions must come from your team captain. Once your advantage category is complete, it's back to speed questions for a new advantage. Ready? Here's your speed question. Wilt thou stay with me and be one of my band? Three suits of Lincoln Green, sh Lincoln Green shalt thou have each year, besides forty marks in fee, and share with us whatsoever good shall befall, befall us. Thou shalt eat sweet venison and quoof the stoutest ale, and mine own good right-hand man thou shalt be. To whom did Robin Hood address these words? Yes, Claremore. Little John. That is correct. You have the advantage. Your category, Claremore, is opposites. Give the opposite words beginning with the letter Q. Number one, ordinary, modern. Opposite of quaint, 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 quaint. Quaint. Quaint is correct. Patriots. It starts with a Q. Yeah. Um, no answer. Okay, that'd be a quizzling. Hunter. Quarry. Quarry. Quarry is correct. All right, back to speed. William III ruled as England's king from 1689 to 1702. He was native of what country? Yes, Claremore. Um, Netherlands. That is correct. You have the advantage again. This time your category is location. Name the state in which these tourist attractions are located. Number one, Cape Canaveral and Disney World. Florida. Florida is correct. Stone Mountain and Okefenokee Refuge. Georgia. 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 Tennessee. Tennessee. Incorrect. It is Georgia. French Quarter and Cajun Country. Louisiana. Louisiana. Louisiana is correct. All right. Back to speed for a new advantage. What did President Barack Obama, Obama threaten to do if his daughters ever got a tattoo? Yes, Claremore. Disown them. That is incorrect. Central? Ground them? No, he said he would get the same tattoo. Better than shutting down the government, right? Mm. Mm. Back to speed. A man bought a cow and a calf for $85. The cow cost $55 more than the calf. How much did he pay for the calf? Yes, Claremore. $15. That is correct. You have the advantage. Your category this time, zebras, is geometry. Number one, express pi as an improper fraction. 22 over 7. 22 over 7. Yes. 22 over 7. That is correct. Nice the distance around the outside of a circle is its circumference. 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 Circumference is correct. A line cutting an angle in half is called what? Angle bisector. Angle bisector. Angle bisector. Angle bisector. That is correct. Who is the heroine of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice? Yes, Claremore. Elizabeth Bennett. That is correct. Advantage again. Category this time is music. Number one, what note follows me on the musical scale? Fa. 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 Fa is correct. Leader is the German word for what? Conductor. 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 Incorrect. It is songs. How many flats are in the key of E flat major? Three. Three. Three, Three is correct. Uh, B, E, and A. All right, back to speed. Southerners who allied themselves with Reconstruction era carpetbaggers were called what? Yes, Claremore. Scalawags. That is correct. Advantage to you, and the category this time is homeland. Identify the native lands of these authors. Number one, Francois Rabelais. I'm guess France. France is correct. St. Thomas Aquinas. Aquinas. Italy. Italy. Uh, Aquinas, excuse me. Yes, Italy is correct. Baruch Spinoza. Spain. Spinoza. Cuba. I'm going with Spain. 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 Spain is incorrect. It is Netherlands. Okay, back to new speed question. Made up of the representatives from all four branches of the oh, I'm sorry, all branches of the armed forces, it is the principal military advisory board to the president of the United States. Yes, Claremore. The Joint Chiefs of Staff? That is correct. Advantage category this time is travel. Tell me who made the following famous trips. Number one, Southampton, England to Plymouth, Massachusetts. Columbus. Pilgrims. Pilgrims. Pilgrims is correct. Atlanta to the sea. Atlanta. Oh, Sherman. 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 General Sherman is correct. 
Jerusalem to Damascus. Jerusalem to Damascus. Jesus? No. 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 Um, no. Lawrence of Arabia? Incorrect. St. Paul. Paul. Okay, Central. I'm still trying for you. <laughs> to help curb growing illegal immigration, Greece decided to build a seven and a half mile fence along its border with what country to the east? Yes, Claremore. Turkey? That is correct. Advantage to you is complete the phrase. Complete the questions from the Bible. Number one, what hath God wrought? That is correct. Am I my brother's keeper? Keeper. 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 Keeper is correct. O death, where is thou? Where is thy thou? Thou? Thy sting. Thy sting. Back to speed. What is the capital of Luxembourg? Yes, Claremore. Vilnius. Incorrect. Central. Luxembourg City. <laughs> In popular terminology, what do we call the chasm that separates the average parent from his adolescent, young, adolescent youngster? Yes, Central. Angst. Incorrect. Claremore. Yes. Generation gap. I'm sorry? Generation gap. That is correct. <laughs> Already got you. The category this time is abbreviations. Recall for what specific wording these letter combinations stand for. Number one, M C. M C. Master of ceremonies. What? Master of ceremonies. Master of ceremonies. That is correct. M P. Oh, can't answer that. Time is up. Uh, that would have been military police, by the way. All right, that's the end of the advantage round. Score stands right now with Central at 60 points and Claremore Zebras with 135 points. Well done, Claremore. We now enter the third round where the team's ability to think of their feet will be tested. For this whirlwind round, teams will get a chance to choose one of three categories. They can choose a category for themselves or they may choose a category for their opposing team. If they choose the other team's category, their opposing team will get to choose a category for them. Uh, the team with the lowest point totals gets to start off first. That would be you, Central. So your categories in this whirlwind round are math, on time, and Snow White. Are you choosing for yourselves or for Claremore? All right, uh, we're choosing for ourselves. Yourselves, and what would you like? So math, on time, and Snow White. She might be about the drawers, I'm not sure. All right, Snow White. Snow White, okay. Snow White it is. Number one, what did the evil witch ask her mirror in Snow White? Who is the fairest of them all? Mm. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest that, of them all? That's good. What color hair did Snow White have? Black. That is correct. Which of the seven dwarfs was always in a good mood? Bashful. Incorrect. Which of the seven dwarfs always had a cold? Sneezy. Sneezy. Correct. Which one of the seven dwarfs doesn't have a beard? Dopey. Correct. What did the seven dwarfs do for a living? Mining. Correct. On the job, they sang Whistle While You Work. What did they sing to and from work? Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. Correct. And what made Snow White fall into a deep sleep? Bite from a poisoned apple. Correct. What did the dwarves put Snow White in after she fell into the deep sleep? A glass, sir. I'm Cas sorry. A glass casket. Correct. What did Prince Charming do to save Snow White? Kiss. That works. Okay, good job. Still had that one miss, though. Okay. Claremore, you get your chance to handle the whirlwind round. Your categories are math, on time, and word power. What would you like? Word what? Word, word power. power. On time or word power? Yeah, word power. Okay, do go for it. Do go for it. Uh, we choose word power. Word power. Words do have power. Okay, number one. Does rectify mean the opposite of remedy, redeem, er, and, or sanctify? Er. er. Correct. Does prosaic mean the opposite of romantic, opposed, fictional, or biographical? Romantic. Romantic? Correct. Does gregarious mean the opposite of taciturn, unprepared, vivid, or antisocial? Antisocial. Correct. Does doltish mean the opposite of clever, qualified, disabled, or sharpened? Clever. 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 Clever is correct. Does lugubrious mean the opposite of melancholy, stormy, sloppy, or cheerful? Cheerful. Cheerful, cheerful correct. 
Does sallow mean the opposite of ruddy, deep, conciliatory, or embarrassed? Embarrassed. Embarrassed? Incorrect. Does urbane mean the opposite of poisonous, rustic, scholarly, or suburban? Rustic? Correct. Does indigenous mean the opposite of national, exciting, alien, or intelligent? Alien. Alien. Yeah, it would be alien. Okay. All right. That's the end of the whirlwind round. Uh, score stands at this point. Central has 150 points and Claremore with 195. We are catching up. All right. Back to speed to finish off this game. Are you all ready? Let's do it. The ship of the desert is a camel. What's a prairie schooner? Yes, Claremore. Horse? I'm sorry, that is an incorrect. Cl uh, Central. Covered wagon? That is correct. The Supreme Court recently heard arguments on the legality of what state's requirements that prospective voters... Yes, Claremore. Affirmative action. Incorrect. Prove U.S. citizenship. Arizona? That is correct. It's also known as the Tenth Holy Sonnet. Identify the sonnet on mortality and the afterlife by John Donne. That would be death, be not proud. Next B question. Considering atomic structure and valence, what's the maximum number of electrons that can occupy a D sublevel? Yes, Claremore. 10. That is correct. The BCS has ranked college football teams and decided which two teams will play in the national championship since 1998. What do the letters BCS stand for? Yes, Claremore. Bowl championship series. Some people think otherwise, but that is correct. Next B question. On August 25th, 1875, Captain Matthew Webb became the first person to swing, swim across the English Channel when he swam from which English port to which French port? Yes, Claremore. Dover to Calais. That is close enough. Calais. Okay. Sorry. Name the actress who plays Mary Todd Lincoln in the recent film, Lincoln. Yes, Central. Sally Fields. That is correct. Math question. The cost of seven CDs and five cassette tapes is $74. If each CD costs $7, what's the price of each tape? Yes, Claremore. $7. Incorrect. Central? $2. Incorrect. It is $5. Next question. The nun's priest's tale of Chaucer is a fable teaching a lesson against excessive pride. The fox in the story is called Renard. What's the name of the rooster? That would be Chanticleer. The capital, the old line states, is equidistant between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Name the city. Yes, Claremore. Annapolis. That is correct. The object of this card game is to form sets called melds. It is said to be the most popular two-handed card game of all time. In fact, except for poker, more money changes hands at this game than any other. Identify it. Yes, Claremore. Texas Hold'em. Incorrect. Central? Bridge. Incorrect. Gin Rummy. Name the book written by Martin D Duggard and Bill O'Reilly that was recently a docudrama on National Geographic. Claremore, yes. Killing Lincoln? That is correct. Which of the halogen elements undergoes sublimation? Yes, Claremore. Bromine? Incorrect. Central. Neon? Incorrect, it is iodine, iodine. When he was Secretary of State, Daniel Webster negotiated an 1842 treaty that set the boundary between New Brunswick and Maine. Name the British representative with whom he negotiated. Yes, Claremore. Ashburton. That is correct. The 2010 book, Read All About It, was penned Jenna Hager and which former First Lady, her mom. Yes, Claremore. Nancy Reagan. Incorrect. Central. Laura Bush. Laura Bush is correct. Define exonerate. Yes, Central. To absolve. A little more information. To absolve of a crime or 
That will work. Um, anything can deal with the crime. That'll be fine. All right. Who originated the world famous wax works exhibited in London? Yes, Central. Madame Tussaud. That is correct. And that is the end of the competition. Final score stands at Tulsa Central with 210 points and Claremore with 255 points. Well played, Braves and Zebras. Next week, it will be the Chelsea Green Dragons versus the Riverfield Ravens. Come back and see who has the answers here on I Want Answers. If you missed last week's competition, you can view it by visiting our website, rsupublictv.org, and look for I Want Answers. And if you're a big fan, look us up on Facebook by searching for I Want Answers. That's all for tonight. I'm your host, Jeff Gaffin. If you knew some of the answers, thank a teacher. If you know freedom, thank a soldier. Have a great night.